the number matters here. So again, I think it is an amendment that we need. I know I was in that parliament where we voted for equity, that every constituency should be given equal. We then uh, overlooked the aspect of poverty index, numbers in primary schools, uh, either urban or rural and things like that. I think that is the next phase that we are supposed to, to go. But again, we want to thank the few other partners that uh, do give uh, full scholarship to brilliant, bright uh, children from poor families like Equity, Family Bank, KCB and others who do voluntarily come out to be able to help. An example of one uh, student is a boy from uh, a public primary school who had scored 410. So we had picked him only for my people to tell him, to tell me because they are also shareholders or rather stakeholders in the uh, family bank uh, scholarship program. They told me, this one we have already considered the child in the family. So we took that opportunity to give to another child. And that is what we are saying. Thank you very much to our partners who are partnering with government to supplement what the government efforts are being done. And we want to tell this uh, institution, Pongezi Sana, for the good work that you're doing. And Eleni Kusomesha Watoto Wetu, kwa sababu hakuna kitu ingine ambaye itakuja kuridisha ispokuwa wale watoto wetu. Unfortunately today, a few like 20, 30 missed out. 350 and above and they have missed out. And because we don't have enough money for us to be able, we have indicated to them that uh, we have told the parents to come to our office. The president has started a program called the Limu Scholarship that is managed by the Ministry of Education. So they will come to our office on Monday. January, once we start, we will be able to advise them to go and visit the education um, uh, department uh, here at the headquarters. And then those who have missed out can now jump into the Elimu scholarship, which is fully sponsored by the government under the patronage of uh, His Excellency the President uh, uh, William Samoya Raproot. So we want to, uh, to say uh, to the parents, uh, most of them are single parents. They have taken up that responsibility to take care of their children. We appreciate their effort. And for those who are married again and they were here in their numbers, in a married uh, uh, a couple, again, we appreciate uh, that uh, the family virtues and values that uh, the family do and undertake. But for the single mothers and the single fathers, because it's only mothers these days. I was, um, today we had one man who is now taking care of uh, uh, the family after the wife decided uh, to take off. So again, we, are, we appreciate the work that the parents are doing. Uh, but we have already cautioned them that they are coming from a primary school going to secondary level. The environment is different than when they were in the primary school. So they need to take caution of who do they t take as their pals and their friends. Avoid the bad company. Uh, join the good company. Be in um, education mood throughout the four years in, your, in their secondary school. So again, we are advising these children. It's not just to pay one point to pay for their fees. It is important we keep track. If you come to my office, we notice that our first, the first or two graduates, when we started this program in 20, to 2014, when we started our, this program, the first uh, graduates after that was in 2017, I think. We noticed a child with 400 marks comes out uh, at the secondary with a C+. I mean, 400 cannot be equated to uh, C+. 400 should be something to do with an A and A minus. So we also notice that, yes, despite us paying the school fees, then the parents and the students, they now take a back seat. They don't put a lot of effort. Uh, my fees is being paid. At the end of it, you have very, very uh, poor results that do not advance them now to the university. So again, we, are, uh, we have taken this opportunity to caution. Uh, after we are done with uh, going around the, the constituency, we'll bring all the 120 now together with a motivational speaker, with a, a student who has already benefited from our program, and for them to be able to motivate uh, the, the Form 1s who are going to Form 1 so that they can understand. Yes, we started. We have one, uh, one girl called, I think, Irene Jerry from St. John's. 
she's perfect. Now doing her fourth year, uh, final year at the university. We started with her at uh, St. John's and she's a role, uh, she's actually a role model of this program. And if you look at her and the way she talks to the colleagues, her colleagues uh, who are joining this program, I think it goes a long way in advising the young girls and boys who are joining Form 1 to be mindful of uh, that uh, the government will pay, but what role do you do as a student and what role do you do as a parent? Again, those are some of the issues that uh, uh, we are trying to help. But uh, lastly, and to add on this, is that uh, we have my colleague, MCA from Flamingo Ward, my brother David Mona, who is a representative of Flamingo Ward in Nakuru County. And we are partnering again in this process. That uh, in education matters, these are what we are doing today is only full scholarship. We have already dispersed another 10,000 forms out there for us to be able to pay the one term, 5,250 that we pay to day school. And uh, it has been a question, why are you paying 5,250 day school, the same amount you're paying in a boarding school who didn't qualify for the full scholarship. But again, we are saying scarcity of money is never enough and we can only do uh, the best we can with the much we have. So out of that, we have the program uh, that um, the MCA has brought up through the office of the governor. The governor has also another program of uh, scholarship. But I think it's also the high time that we liaise between us. If I pay first term, Muna can pay second term. And if the governor has another kitty, can pay the third term for the very same student. Because it is pointless to send a child in first term and maybe Muna pays second term. Then third term is a struggle. And that child is in and out of school every time because of but of course now that takes us to the other point of but that is another topic for another day but we just want a student who is relaxed everything has been paid to the teachers to as we don't take politics we allow the teacher to do their work lakini matokeo na viboko itakuja siku ya matokeo i know i have a secondary school here that uh, 90% of the results is an E in Form 4. I mean, we cannot continue with that kind of uh, business as usual in a school like that. 90% getting E, there is no difference between a child for four years and a child who never went to class. So again, we are also cautioning our teachers. As we pay, please don't put commercial issues in education. Kazi yako ni kufunza, funza watoto. Pali kuna shida kuja tushikane, tusaidiane to improve matokeo ya shule. I have two schools in my constituency, one in Menengai, another one in Akuru East. Terrible schools. And we cannot, uh, of course, I have one mine that I started in Kimathi and uh, Kivumbini. Uh, we have Kimathi Secondary School and Kivumbini. Since we started, but we started with a purpose. We started those schools with a child that has uh, less than 150. Our were admitted in a secondary school. So we started a school there. It has, not, it has never gone, the two schools have never gone beyond a C+. Plus. But we thank God because these children come out with a certificate that can be able to give them employment, either kwa jeshi, kwa polisi. At least with a D-, minus, you can be engaged elsewhere. And we started this purpose for any child so that we have a 100% transition, that any child, irrespective of your marks, you have a secondary school, you can, has it done as any better? I would say yes. First, it has kept them in school. Secondly, they have a certificate that can be able to present when they are being uh, requested by an institution to give us for further studies or employment for that matter. So again, uh, this, there are those schools we started just for hold-ups hold and a certificate. Just a result. Ata ukipata D- na huko na certificate yako, iko jeshi na kungoja, iko polisi na kungoja, iko nini na kungoja. Lakini for those who are limbo nafanya hizo, the minus, hiyo mai, Hiyo hatuwezi kubali kuendelea na hiyo mipangilio. Serikali inaweka pesa, alafu matokeo kwa sababu mwalimu anashukulika sana na mambo ya biashara ya kupika chakula ya watoto ndio wanawafukuza kila saa. E, mara UAN ndio wanaleta uniform kwa jule, wanataka kuuza uniform. E, wa mshomba alisema tuseme tukiwa na kama ni white ya Kiambu yote ni white. Tukikuja na kuri ikuwe ni yellow. Italete <laughs> jita siku ya siyasa. Sabu watoto waneza toka na yellow wambia ni wati ya UDA. Lakini... <laughs> Or you're just saying, no teacher is supposed to send a child home just because he has a feeding program, a man, a uniform. 
Nakumbuka matiangi akiwa shuleni. Alikuwa na mtoto akiwa kiatu, wacha kanyaga eletha. 